What is up my YouTube viewers, this is the Nace Malavius channel and today I have a very late review, uh, in-depth review on the Nike KD7. Um, it's been about, I'd say 4 months now, 4 or 5 months now since I got these guys. I pinned them lots and uh, I was originally supposed to um, put, out, put out this video uh, a couple months back, probably like 2 months back. But I got sidetracked with a lot of school, a lot of basketball, and I uh, just didn't really have the time to record any of this video, any of these videos for you guys. Um, but I, I have the time now, and um, let's get uh, straight into the shoe review, and we'll start off with the materials. So starting off with the materials found on the Nike KD7, uh, we have a split uh, contrast between two different materials here. On the front, we have a traditional lightweight mesh uh, along with nylon uh, reinforcement underneath. We also have fly wire for uh, more of a natural support uh, on, the on the front of your foot right there. We also have hyperposite uh, for the more structural support uh, for your heel and ankle. Uh, nice uh, nylon feeling collar, mesh tongue, KD logo in plastic, a rubberized um, strap as you can see and you have the phylon midsole and rubber outsole so overall the materials uh, they're pretty durable um, the mesh gives a nice flexible feeling uh, to the to the front of the shoe so natural flex f movement for your for the front of the shoe like I was saying and the hyper positive backing while it um, still gives you nice and supportive structure and support it still gives off that durability so uh, for if you if you're one of those hoopers who play outdoors um, this is probably going to be a pretty good option for you um, for and for the hundred fifty dollar price tag uh, it's pretty reasonable um, I wore these a lot um, and um, uh, little signs of wear, um, especially on the traction. Like I, I played in a lot of courts, but I'll get into that into the traction section. But uh, I wore these a lot, and pretty much no signs of wear. Um, there is a little bit of dirt and stuff on the toe, um, but it'll probably rub off. Um, and they also have this rand of fuse, an outer layer of fuse on the toe here for more of that uh, support. And uh, yeah, the materials, like I was saying, really durable, and it'll last you quite a while for that. Cushion tech found on the Nike KD7 is pretty much the same as last year's. Um, in the back, we have a 180 uh, Air Max unit, um, really comfortable when you first try it on. And you also have an internal 8mm zoom air unit in the, f in the front here, a rectangle uh, right here. Um, it's very responsive uh, for both forefoot and heel. You will have a little bit of break in time um, before you actually notice uh, and starting to feel that four foot zoom unit. But the heel here is already responsive as it is when you first try it on. So heel was very, very awesome, uh, very responsive as well. And the four foot, while you still needed a little bit of break in time, it's still pretty responsive once you uh, once that break in time is complete. And the file on midsole is a little more softer than I originally would have expected to be. Usually phylon, uh, it's more on the firmer side in my opinion, and you don't really get the, the the most experience out of the zoom just because on some shoes that uh, feature phylon, you really can't feel it because, like I said, it's pretty firm. But in this case, not at all. The phylon was really plush and a uh, little break in time uh, for that four foot zoom unit to, to actually react to my foot. So uh, cushioning I thought was outstanding, and one of the better uh overall um points that make up of the kd7 uh really comfortable um and for casual use these will be comfortable as well but uh specifically for basketball purposes these are, are outstanding comfortable shoe um you can see the uh the strands uh for compression obviously and uh yeah so the traction on the nike kd7 was probably my favorite attribute to the shoe um, the traction is a very very durable rubber outsole, uh, pretty thick as well, you can see how thick that rubber outsole is. Um, and like I was saying, the pattern itself is really crazy. It's like a, it's supposed to be a weather map kind of pattern, a uh, storytelling pattern with a little bit of hints of that herringbone kind of design on the, uh, the toe piece here and on the lateral side here on toe offs, or when you jab stuffing and stuff like that, you still have that little bit of herringbone design right there. But overall, it's more of a storytelling weather map pattern. And the pattern overall is very aggressive. Um, the, the thick, dense grooves really um, stick to the floor. Um, and it's really great uh, on very, very clean courts. Uh, these were like money. 
uh, right off the bat. Uh, no slippage whatsoever on clean courts. Mali dusty courts, which uh, which are usually the courts that I usually play on, uh, with just a little bit of dust. Um, you'll just wipe here and there, and you're really pretty much all you're pretty much good to go. Um, so yeah, just minimal wiping required on mildly dusty, and then on the really dusty courts where there's just a ton of layers of dirt and stuff and dust. Um, these guys picked picked up a little a little bit of that dust, but a couple more of that wiping is required, um, and you're still good to go. So the traction I think is really durable, um, and it works very very well. Um, I believe the KD6, the past rendition of the KD models, uh, it had more of a triangular pattern. Um, I didn't think that would work. Um, I myself do not own a pair of KD6s, um, but I know a couple of my friends who have it, and uh, I just didn't really trust that pattern, which is partially why I didn't buy the KD6s. But the KD7s here, uh, with this pattern and um, giving you a very good traction pattern, uh, it's A1 in my books. So the traction, definitely one of the better attributes to the shoe, and probably one of the better tractions for uh, basketball for any basketball shoe uh, as of right now. Alright, so the lockdown and support is basically covered with the dynamic flywire system. Uh, it locks into your f locks uh, your foot into place in that forefoot section. So the mesh is still giving you a nice flexible ride while still giving you that supportive um, support feature that you need with the flywire strands hugging your foot. And then the hyperposite gives you more structural support. Um, my only concern with the out lockdown and support um, was the heel. Uh, the first couple of games that I played in this shoe, um, I still had a little bit of, or I had a little bit of sl heel slippage. Um, I was kind of hesitant on why that that um, occurred, but uh, I guess it was I just needed the break in time because after a lot more game sessions in this shoe, um, it started to go away eventually so um, I know a couple people have, have experienced this as well um, and uh, some people didn't experience it but for me personally I did experience it uh, I did experience it and it was a kind of a minor problem but then uh, but then again uh, I went away after uh, the more games I played in this shoe so that was just my main complaint about the lockdown support was just that the there was a little bit of heel slippage so if you're pl if you're planning on buying this shoe um, just expect to have a little bit of heel slippage, but that's probably just how my foot is shaped and my heel is contoured. Uh, everyone has different foot shapes, obviously, so that probably won't happen to you if you are planning to buy this shoe. But for me personally, that was a little bit of an issue. But overall, the lockdown support was pretty good. This strap here, um, it didn't really give much uh, support that you'd need or lockdown that you'd need. Uh, it's more uh, the strap is there just uh, for for um, aesthetics. So um, I you, you can barely feel the strap hugging your foot, the mid part of your foot. So um, the strap wasn't really there for anything uh, as far as actual performance goes. And then you also have um, in the middle here this plastic. Uh, it's not really a shank plate. Uh, there's just these lines and bars to to act as the shank. Um, to me, for me personally, I didn't really feel it like supporting my midfoot. Um, it w it was pretty durable because, as, as you can see, it's still still pretty uh, sturdy. So uh, these bars here, um, they do they do do its job for um, the torsional support, so you don't overflex your foot in any uh, wrong way. Um, it's just weird having just lines of plastic. I thought there'd be like a little bit of a more visual appearance of uh, some kind of plate here in the middle but they they did it with lines so I guess it's pretty good um, and this gray stuff is actually part of the midsole so overall the lockdown and support pretty decent uh, not the best I would say uh, just because of the strap not doing anything uh, for performance wise and with that little bit of heel slippage but overall it's pretty good uh, decent uh, for lockdown and support breathability on this shoe is adequate it's not the best um, mainly because there is a back half of hyperposite so you won't really feel any kind of uh, uh, airflow coming in through the through the back part of your shoe but you will feel a slight bit um, especially uh, in the forefront just because it is a mesh upper um, but it is also backed up with nylon which kind of hinders the performance of uh, the ventilation itself so breathability wasn't really um, good on this shoe at all 
uh, I, I felt minor airflow coming in and coming out of the shoe but overall it was pretty lackluster so if you want a shoe that's really really breathable uh, I wouldn't recommend this shoe um, and if, if you're a person who doesn't really doesn't care about ventilation um, obviously pick up the shoe only if you like it so overall um, this shoe is a very very good shoe uh, probably the best all-around shoe for me personally it has really great traction pretty awesome cushioning and the materials are pretty good as well the only uh, thing that I uh, say uh, not really ne in a negative way but uh, some way to learn from experience um, it's just that the heel here it wasn't as secured as I liked it to be and the strap it didn't really they didn't really need to bring back the strap but that's that's Kevin Durant's decision it is his shoe uh, for me personally this didn't really um, do anything for performance but other than that the shoe is pretty nuts um, there are several colorways now that you can pick up uh, at your local uh, champs Foot Locker whatever wherever you plan on purchasing or purchasing your your pair so uh, the KD7 definitely recommend to uh, for players that are one to the three position not really a four to the five um, five would probably want a little more support uh, four maybe but most most likely one to the three position so uh, that is it and uh, thanks for watching uh, like this video and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video see you later